Our other top story here at noon. Four security guards are charged in the death of a man at Northland Mall. The guards are accused of restraining Mackenzie Cochran back in 2014. Witnesses reported hearing Cochran say that he couldn't breathe. Let's get out to our Priya man. She joins us now live this afternoon. And Priya, I understand the Attorney General, Dana Nessel, just announced this big development in the case. Yeah, that's right, Everard. A.G. Nessel was joined by the Southfield Police Chief as well as the Oakland County Prosecutor. This case getting another review and now new charges. Take a look. Mackenzie Cochran died from compression asphyxia on the floor of the Northland Shopping Mall in Southfield in 2014. Now, Cochran was asked to leave the mall after an employee reported he'd been acting suspiciously around a jewelry store. While struggling with security guards, Cochran was sp pepper sprayed and pinned to the ground. A.G. Nessel says a 25-year-old told security guards he could not breathe breathe because of the way he was positioned on the ground. Well, seven years ago, then Oakland County Prosecutor Jesse, Jessica Cooper did not pursue criminal charges, saying there was no intention to kill and no chokehold by guards. Well, that changed last year when Cochran's family asked Southfield Police Chief Alvin Barron to review the case a second time. Chief Barron took another look at the investigation, decided to send it to the AG's office. The four security guards have now been charged with one count of involuntary manslaughter each. Two were arraigned Wednesday at 46th District Court. Here's what Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald had to say. It's a tragic, tragic death. But we have moved forward as a community, as a state, as a country, and we no longer uh, swipe these things to the side when we know there has been wrongdoing. Our job is to do everything possible to bring justice to these, to, to these victims, and in this case, Mackenzie Hockren. Now, coming up tonight, we're going to hear more from A.G. Nessel as well as Southfield Police Chief Alvin Barron. Uh, two of those defendants are expected to be arraigned in court this afternoon. We'll have much more coming up tonight. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, Priya.